Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. We're keeping an eye on some thunderstorms here and there. We're also seeing, again, some areas of some very warm weather coming back our direction as we go into the course of the next couple of days. So, again, as it says in the comment section, starting things off here for tonight, hopefully you've got your air conditioning system tuned up and ready to go because you are going to be needing it as we go into the next several days. Toward Mother's Day next weekend, we'll be looking at some very warm temperatures with numbers heading back into around the upper 80s, maybe even the 90s for some parts of the Mid-South area. And also some fairly warm conditions out there will enable the possibility of a few more thunderstorms to form into the Mid-South. We'll talk about that as well as taking a look at some of the seismic information from, from this weekend. Earthquake in the Gulf of Mexico several hours ago. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. There is no tsunami threat from that one. And of course, the earthquakes continue around the area of Hawaii with those uh, eruptions of the Kilauea volcano going on. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you've got a weather report, drop it into the comments section. We'd love to see what it's like, where you may happen to be at in the Mid-South or points beyond. Again, if you're checking in from somewhere else, let us know where you're from. City, state, and weather report if you've got it. Temperature, wind speed. If you've got a rain gauge picture, we'll show you some of those coming up as well in just a little bit. If you've never been here before checking in for the first time, our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime, you can email me here at austin.onic at wreg.com. Our services for weather forecast for the 7 to 10 day forecast for, again, the forecast showing up here at the bottom of your screen, all of that is available at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to check in and see what's going on for the forecast out there into and around the Mid-South. And welcome to everybody who's checking in for this evening. If you have any weather pictures out there, we'd love to see them. We'll show you some of the ones that we featured from earlier tonight. Coming up here in just a little bit, if you've got the pictures, drop them to my Facebook page, Instagram, or Twitter, and we'll feature them on News Channel 3 when we're able to do so. So please have those ready to go coming up a little bit later on this evening, and we'll feature them again on News Channel 3 social media. Re rest of the area for tonight... Again, not that much going on for where we're concerned. Down to the Gulf of Mexico, earthquake earlier this afternoon, a 4.5 in the area a couple hundred miles south of New Orleans, out into the Gulf of Mexico. And if you'd like to know more about this, you can find out more at the United States Geological Survey, earthquakes.usgs.gov, or our own Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis. And you can find out more details about this. The Tsunami Warning Center has said that there is no threat of a tsunami out there. It's not the same setup as we've seen from other seismic areas around the globe in the last few years. So yes, there was an earthquake. No, we did not see any indication of it being felt here in the Mid-South area, but if you'd like to know more about an area that you may not have thought of being seismically active, definitely something to check out there. Quick check of the forecast. In a nutshell, into overnight, there are some scattered showers and thunderstorms out there. We're just not seeing a lot of activity for right now, and there will be isolated activity throughout the course of the rest of the evening, maybe even lingering into drive time tomorrow. But much of what we're looking at for right now is going to be just isolated activity and cool conditions. Well, kind of, sort of, anyway, mid-60s over the next several days. This is going to be about as cool as it gets. Maybe a few upper 50s out there, but we're just not seeing much of anything out there in the way of a lot of cool weather coming on through. Try to get a nice little Memphis hinge effect going on from our Hilton East Memphis camera, looking back to the area in and around uh, Hilton East Memphis, back toward around the Poplar and Mendenhall Towers tonight, but the clouds around the lower section of the, the horizon kind of interfered with that, so wasn't able to see too much there for tonight. And the view looking back toward around Poplar and Mendenhall clear and also can see decent view of downtown Memphis skyline out there from I-240 and Poplar. Beale Street Music Fest in its final hours for 2018 and things are wrapping up pretty nicely. Clear and dry, several thousand people out in downtown Memphis tonight having a great time and the rain continuing to hold off for this evening. But we do have some thunderstorms back on the way. Whether or not they make it all the way into the metro area, a little bit on the iffy side for right now. Now, the heaviest area of showers and thunderstorms that we saw from earlier this evening have basically gone. They're all the way out to the west of us. Some thunderstorms around Little Rock, down to Pine Bluff, right around Greenville, and down to the Mississippi River Valley. All that is making its way down to the south and to the east. So this is dwindling and moving away from us at this time, but it's not alone. We have more activity just into southeastern Missouri, 
Some of this is continuing to hold together as it goes through Poplar Bluff. Now just north of Kennett, if you're around that area, you're probably going to hear some rumbles of thunder pretty soon, if not already. And some of this could make its way into the News Channel 3 viewing area coming up within about the next couple of hours. But again, iffy, it's going to hold together all the way on through. We also have more thunderstorms trying to develop back up around Rolla, St. Louis, into around Washington, St. Genevieve, Missouri, maybe picking up some of this activity as it goes a little bit closer to us later on tonight. But as of right now, the Music Fest is dry and everything else around the Mid-South area for the most part is looking pretty good right now. Also a few dwindling thunderstorms over toward Middle Tennessee this evening, but really just not that much to worry about uh, for right now. South Bend, Indiana, Joe Weston Fritzler, hope I'm saying that right. Thank you very much. Collierville, 73, Ronnie Williams, welcome to the show uh, at this point in time. And see who we got here with our weather report. Judy Baker, Dyer, Tennessee, Gibson County, 72, and partly cloudy. Thank you very much for that. South Haven, 76, Armisha Johnson, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for that weather report. And April Hens, 70 degrees in Eureka Springs, Mississippi. Great car wash day. Yes, saw a lot of people out of the car wash getting things uh, tidied up for today. Thank you all for those weather reports, and thanks to everybody else for checking in for tonight. Mid to upper 60s to lower 70s on live real-time WeatherNet 3. Winds kind of westerly, but not a lot of breeze for tonight. Also, very dry air in place, so down toward the surface. That's why we're not seeing a lot of rain making its way into the Mid-South, because we've got humidity levels of about 30, 40 percent across much of the Mid-South, so it's Decently on the dry side for right now, and very mild across the area. If you want to see this on your computer system, all you have to do is, again, go here, wreg.com slash weather, and click on the weather bug icon in the upper left-hand corner, or right along the menu, I guess I should say, out there. So keep that in mind if you want some more weather information there. Uh, weather details about what's going on near your location, several dozen around the Mid-South and several thousand around the continental United States. Now, running the numbers... Through News Channel 3 at 10, isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms dropping on through. Those will stick around into very early Monday morning and also, and unfortunately, right on in through commute time. But at that point, they will be dwindling. Isolated activity as we go toward late tomorrow morning and then by lunchtime, basically gone. That should be about it. Winds coming in out of the north will bring in some drier air, so we're not going to get too much of anything in the way of major amounts of moisture. I don't think this is really too much of anything to worry about. Computer reading higher cloud levels as possibility of rainfall with extra moisture in the atmosphere for that. I don't see anything else in the way of major problems with rainfall after mid-morning tomorrow, so definitely some good news on that one for the time being. Stick around for more on the forecast for the 7 to 10 day coming up in just a little bit. Should be, again, a very dry day for the most part going back home from work or school tomorrow night pretty much on the mild side into and around the area as we get into the early portion of tomorrow afternoon. Now, again, warmer over the next several days tomorrow and as we get into around Tuesday. We've got more sunshine out there, but temperatures are going to be just a little bit above normal, fairly close to normal somewhere in there. But again, it's going to be a little bit on the warmer side out there. Now, going into and around the area for the rest of this next week, Brittany Beaver, the mosquitoes are out. Tell me about it. We had a couple of them flying around the studio earlier tonight, kind of annoying on things like that. Now, later on this week, a few isolated showers and thunderstorms Wednesday into Thursday. Not great chances again, but... 20 to 30 percent coverage chance, so not much, but outdoor activities need to pay attention to this. Then, toward the end of the week and into the weekend, we get a decent surge of heat coming on through. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s, pushing 90 degrees as we go toward Mom's Day next weekend. So, very much on the warm side, starting things off again, a little bit above normal, going for way above normal, and very much almost, dare I say, on the hot side as we go toward this next weekend. After that, we catch a bit of a break as some slightly, shall we say, less hot air makes its way into the Mid-South. Temperatures, again, staying in the 60s, maybe a few mid to upper 50s, Monday into next Tuesday, and then fairly pleasant with temperatures very close to normal as we head through the second full week of May. Not doing too bad for right now, but could be some hot conditions out there, so hopefully you've got the AC tuned up and ready to go uh, into and around the area for the Mid-South because we'll be looking for some more uh, hot and humid conditions into and around the area for right now. Donna Kelsey Faulkner, thank you very much. 
Uh, yes, my son making it over to Hanoi in Vietnam for his summer study junket with ETSU. So thank you very much for that. Waiting to hear how uh, processing and customs went along for that one. So we'll see what goes on there for now. Ashley Cruz, don't like the hot weather. You're not alone. But a lot of people have also said they want to get rid of the cooler temperatures that we've had and get into and around the area for right now uh, to warm things up by just a bit. Doreen Lumpkin, could floodwaters running into the ocean cause an earthquake? If there was enough water stacked up in one location, I would guess that maybe that could have some sort of an impact uh, on the tectonic faults, possibly. But I'm a meteorologist. I'm not a seismologist or a volcanologist. So again, difficult to say at this point in time where or if that could happen. Now, a great place to go to would be our own uh, University of Memphis Center for Earthquake Research and Information. If you'd like to find out more about that, just go to earthquakes.usgs.gov or go to the University of Memphis website and you can ask the seismologists that work there and the graduate students and the professors that type of question. They would be uh, glad to answer. They're a really great bunch of people who work over there answering a lot of great questions when it comes to science. So uh, good question. I don't have the answer, but I know who does. So again, give them a check out over at Surrey to find out some more details there. James R. Gulledge winding up with just an inch point one. Not that much rainfall came down this time around. Not flash flooding material, but enough to soak down the roadways and the garden. So again, James Gulledge getting a decent soaking into and around the Humboldt area. Beautiful view of a post-storm rainbow from yesterday into around Canada Road from Savcap 123. Beautiful view there. A little bit of sunshine and some clouds making its way on through. So a beautiful day at that location. And from Yum Yum, Tennessee. Don't think I've ever been to this location before but raising girls, catching a nice uh, sunset last night, so a beautiful way to end Saturday out there. Just a few of the pictures that we get every single week and weekend, and if you'd like to throw yours into the mix, I would love to see them so we can feature them on netcasts like this and on News Channel 3 broadcasts as well. Tweet them to me at aonic underscore wreg3. I'm on Instagram at aonic no underscore necessary wreg3. And check me out on Facebook at austinonic wreg. Also, you can listen in on the radio. I'll be on with Bob and Josh coming up bright and early tomorrow morning on the Talkback Live program starting at 8 a.m. If you'd like to listen in for some great sports chat, if you're outside the area, can't get the signal of AM 730, listen on online at talkbacklivenetwork.org for more information about what's going on there and follow them on Twitter at TalkBackLive. Todd will have an update on the forecast bright and early on Monday morning and of course I'll have a look at what's going on at weather where the troops are, weather around the world at places where American troops and sailors and support service personnel may be stationed. Stay tuned for that. That's coming up in about 15 minutes on my Facebook page, Periscope and Twitter as well as we keep you updated on weather beyond on the Mid-South, and it's our own little kind of salute to everybody out there who's both wearing the uniform of our country and those who are on the home front wanting to keep up to date with what's going on with weather around the rest of the world. So stay tuned for that coming up in about 15 minutes. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We'll have more details on your forecast tonight at 10. Kristen Holloway has all the day's news. Mike Sadie's up with a busy day in sports, and we'll have all the details about what's going on getting you started into the rest rest of the week coming up in just a little while, so stay tuned for that. Again, questions, concerns, ideas, suggestions, anything you want to see on here, more satellites, more climate details, river information, whatever it is, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com, and I'll pass them along to my supervisors and see what they say about putting things on here to get more information out there. But thank you very much for tuning in and making this part of your weekend routine so we can keep you updated with what's going on with weather. Stay tuned for more coming up on News Channel 3 at 10. And again, Todd Demers has more coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak, bright and early Monday morning at 4.30.